Okay, so we're at this section where the stab comes in. I'm just gonna play it from here. So I'm just visualizing in my mind things like effects and crashes. Yeah, I said I felt doubtful about the bass. I really don't feel that it's time for the bass just yet. I'm gonna take that off. Just gonna listen to this stripping down a bit. Okay, now what I'm thinking about here is literally to take this last bit to right click, split, so it creates a new clip. And on here, just to have that kick and just drop it down there. Yeah, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over here and we are gonna record a new section in here. Just gonna zoom out a bit. And this is gonna really just get us busy with the rest of the track. Just gonna have a look on my sessions on the launch pad. This one, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna start with. Okay, so we're gonna get it set up here, record, and then I'm gonna trigger this scene instead. Let's take it out of the arrange view, go back on to session. I'm gonna give ourselves some more space. So switching on the next one, the progression. I'm not 100% on that vocal at the moment, but I remember there was another vocal, was it here? Yep. So let's see what we got on the next row. Okay, that's flowing nicely. taking that string off. Maybe the vocal here, not sure. Let me just trigger it. Could probably do some bigger effects. Maybe that should have come at the beginning. Trying out ideas here. Okay, well look, things are moving forward there. And we've got some new sections. What I'm feeling is, is that this is working. I'm not 100% sure over here. I think we need some kind of transitional feel, but I just want to listen to this again from here. Take a look at the vocals folder. Just gonna make some amendments here manually. I'll repeat this. Okay, I feel the string needs to carry on. I'm gonna take this away and just drag this over. I'm also feeling that something new needs to come in about 73, maybe a high string. See, this is what starts to happen. When you start structuring your track, the things that are missing often start to come sort of subconsciously. So I'm feeling 73, I might need to get some kind of sustained high string to create some tension. Leading into where we're gonna break down over here. 
So this is like a new section. Let me just keep going on to that. Okay, so yeah, I think we need some kind of little thing like we had last time where we had the beat. Just gonna undo that. I didn't see that it was all selected, so I'm gonna bring this back. I'm just gonna make a copy of this. Okay, that could work as a transition there. Um, so let's take a look. 73. Let's think about bringing something in here. Now, what I'll do is just take a look at what's going on over here, the music elements. Let's create here a new MIDI track. I'm looking for something like, as I said, a sustained string. And we could, in fact, be looking at the same instrument that we've got over here, the strings concert string. So I'm going to make a copy and drag these over. Before we were using them with the chord device, which is creating the chord. This time I want it just a sustained note. Maybe. Maybe, let me try the octave higher. Yeah, there's something about that sound that I'm not feeling at the moment. Now, there was a, basically a series of sounds, retro synths that were freebies as downloads. And these could be good for this. Now, if I go to the instrument racks, I seem to remember it was pure magnetic, that was it. Yeah, so pure magnetic retro synths. Inside here, string machines. So there is a Selena string. So this is a classic synth string. I'm just going to drag this down to replace the existing device. That's more like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record that in as MIDI onto the arrange page. So I might as well do it whilst I'm here. So here we go. So you can see what I'm doing whilst I'm doing this. Is I'm mixing and matching between you know, the hands-on vibe of the, the launch pad, also bringing in the MIDI stuff and also working in the arrange window as well. So combining the different techniques. So let's just take a look at this. Let's quantize that. I did try to do something a bit different, as you can see here, but I'm not sure that I liked the second part of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten this, right click on it, I'm going to crop the clip so it's just the same and come down to loop over here and just drag this out so we've got a repeat of that. And just gonna take the edges right up and then we'll have a listen. Okay, so that's good for the moment and we'll take a look at what else we need to do on the next video.